मार्सल सुशील नाइक वेलकम यू इन द रेणुका इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ नेट टुडे इन बायोलॉजी विल टॉक अबाउट कीमो ऑस्मोटिक हाइपोथेसिस द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिगार्डिंग ऑल द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स कीमो ऑस्मोटिक हाइपोथेसिस एक्सप्लेन अर्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ ए टी पी सिंथेसिस विच अकॉ इन माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया एंड क्लोरोप्लास्ट फ्रेंड्स मिक्सल वॉज द साइंटिस्ट हु एक्सप्लेन किमो ऑस्मोटिक हाइपोथिस इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन द टर्म कीमो ऑस्मोटिक मीन्स हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मूवमेंट ऑफ केमिकल्स मेनली प्रोटोन्स एच प्लस आयल्स एंड दट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड कीमो ऑस्मोटिक थियरी here the proton gradient play a significant role for the process of atp synthesis how it carried out if we talk about the chloroplast in the internal structure we can observe the pile of thylakoid called as an granum this thylakoid is double membranous pouch like structure if we observe the thylakoid from the upper view from here if we observe it from the upper side this structure appears like this it's a oval shape double membrane structure this are outer and the inner membrane of thylakoid this is thylakoid membrane in the membrane the different kind of pigment systems are present here it is ps2 it is ps1 and here the different kind of cytochromes are present when the light emits or incident on the ps2 the electron get released from it which passes towards primary electron acceptor from the primary electron acceptor it move towards the cytochrome remember that cytochrome is electron acceptor but its main function is its act as an hydrogen carrier ya yeah, proton carrier we can say when electron passes from ps2 to cytochrome it induces opening of hydrogen carrier molecule and so from the stroma that is outside the thylakoid the 2h plus protons diffuses inside the lumen of thylakoid so electron movement is mainly responsible for the action of hydrogen carrier molecules to h plus from the stroma enter into the lumen of thylakoid this electrons then passes towards ps1 that is photo pigment system 1 when electron passes towards ps1 it activate na dp which react with 2h plus to form na dp h2 inside the stroma of the chloroplast so there are two main processes occur here due to which from the stroma 2h plus are used up or enter into the lumen as a result of that 2h plus that is protons goes on decreasing in the stroma region now in the lumen the another process that is photolysis of water due to which again h plus and oh minus forms 
2H plus undergo ionization that is called photolysis of water and 2H plus or the H plus that is proton increases in the lumen. So, due to photolysis H plus increase in the lumen and due to reduction of NADP and diffusion of H plus into the lumen in the stroma 2H plus goes on decreasing. So, now the gradient generates inside the lumen the H plus goes on increasing inside the stroma H plus goes on decreasing. So, this way a gradient develops between the stroma and the lumen we can say that in the lumen H plus goes on increasing in the stroma H plus goes on decreasing and this way it generates a proton gradient. This proton gradient is nothing but difference in the H plus concentration in the lumen and the stroma of the chloroplast. Remember that the proton gradient is mainly responsible for ATP synthesis. How? We can say that when H plus increase in the lumen, the pH in the lumen decreases and H plus reduce in the stroma, pH in the stroma increases. When the pH in the lumen decreases in sufficient amount at the sufficient level as well, the ions channel that is F0 ion channel and F1 part present in the stroma induces opening. Now, how the proton gradient breaks? When H plus ions increase in the lumen, the pH in the lumen decreases and H plus that is proton reduce in the stroma, pH of the stroma increases. Now, the F0, this is proton ion channel embedded in between the thylakoid membrane. The other part of this is the F1. Both the structure are part of ATPase, which is enzyme, but it is a protein embedded inside the thylakoid membrane. This ATPase is also called as CF0, CF1 particle. It is also called as an elementary particles and this structure is now mainly responsible for the ATP synthesis. When F0 proton ion channel open due to the reduction in the pH of the lumen, this H plus ions come outside into the stroma region of the chloroplast. This rapid or the fast movement of the H plus, these are the proton from lumen to the stroma is facilitated by the F0 ion channel and this is breaking of proton gradient. When protons diffuses out through the F0, it releases certain amount of energy. With the help of energy, the configuration of the F1 which is protruding towards the stroma region changes, it become active and facilitate reaction between ADP and inorganic phosphate to form ATP. So, here we can say that the break of proton gradient is mainly responsible for ATP synthesis as H plus or the proton rapidly come outside from the lumen to stroma releases energy activate F1. So, ADP and inorganic phosphate join to form ATP and this way ATP synthesis occur inside the chloroplast. Now, we talk about how the ATP synthesis occur in the mitochondria. In mitochondria, ATP synthesis is carried out again with the help of proton gradient. In the mitochondria between outer and the inner membrane, there is an intermembranous space is there. Here large number of protons are accumulated due to electron transport system. 
when electron passes from ETS electron transport system the H plus from the matrix region enter or diffuses towards the intermembrane space. Now in the intermembrane space H plus increases as well in the matrix that is the lumen of mitochondria H plus decreases again gradient of proton develops. In the intermembrane space H plus are more in the matrix H plus are less and again a gradient develop between the lumen or we can say between the intermembrane space and the matrix. What happens now again due to proton gradient H plus ions move towards the matrix by opening of F0 ion channel. We already discussed F0 is a proton ion channel decrease in the pH of the intermembrane space induce opening of F0 ion channel and as soon as F0 ion channel open proton from the intermembrane space diffuses rapidly towards the matrix. Again the energy release by this rapid diffusion of the proton F1 has a configurational change it become active and act as an ATP is. So ADP is again phosphorylated with the inorganic phosphate to form ATP and this way ATP synthesis occur inside the matrix of mitochondria. Now students in both the cases of chloroplast and the mitochondria the breaking of proton gradient is mainly responsible for the ATP synthesis and this theory is now called as an chemo osmotic theory as H plus are the chemicals or the ions and it is rapid diffusion it is a kind of osmotic process and that is why this theory is chemo osmotic hypothesis. Thank you very much this is chemo osmotic theory in the next session we will discuss about certain questions regarding the chemo osmotic hypothesis even though if you have any doubt you can write to me and we will definitely take all these queries in the next lecture. Thank you very much.